This is a story about a man named Harold Crick. Harold was a man of habits and precise patterns. Every weekday for six years, Harold would put exactly four dots of lotion on his face, on his left cheek, right cheek, his forehead, and lastly on the tip of his nose, rubbing them clockwise three times each. Every day for six years, Harold would brush each of his 32 teeth 76 times, 38 times back and forth, 38 times up and down. If one had asked Harold, he would have said that this particular Wednesday was exactly like all the Wednesdays prior, and he began it the same way he and he began it the same way he always did. Hello. When other minds would fantasize about their upcoming day... Hello? Someone there? When other minds would fantasize about their upcoming day, or even try to grasp onto their dreams, Harold just counted brush strokes. All right, who just said Harold counted brush strokes? How do you know I'm counting brush strokes? Every day for six years, Harold would affix his belt always on the second. <laughs> always on the second hole. This was an extraordinary day, a day to be remembered for the rest of Harold's life. But of course, Harold just thought it was a Wednesday. Excuse me, did you hear that? D did you hear the voice that just said Harold thought it was a Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. I know it's Wednesday, but did you hear the voice? The voice that said Harold thought it was a Wednesday. Who's Harold? I'm Harold. Harold, it's okay, it's Wednesday. No, I know it's Wednesday. I'm asking if you heard the yeah, voice. I run. It's not what I'm asking. All right, see ya. It was remarkable how the simple, modest elements of Harold's life, so often taken for granted, would become the catalyst for an entirely new life. Hey! Hey, you! Stop what you're doing right now! Stop it, all right? Ah! You heard me! You get out of my head, you leave me alone! That's my... Get away from me, you creep! Little did Harold know that the stranger he has just terrified was on her way to her mother's funeral. Harold then stepped in a rather large pile of dog poop. Harold suddenly found himself beleaguered and exasperated, late for his work. Shut up! Cursing the heaven in futility. No, I'm not! I'm cursing you, you stupid boy! So shut up and leave me alone! <laughs>